Now that we have created our first invoice and sent it to the client, it's time to learn how we can mark an invoice as paid once we receive payment for the client. So you can see I'm starting out here in the invoices section of FreshBooks in the subsection of invoices, and I've got my list of invoices down here right where we left off in the last video. This invoice is marked as sent, but now it's time to enter a payment for this invoice. And there are probably five to 10 different ways you can enter a payment here in FreshBooks because they try and make it as simple as they can. So we're gonna go ahead and enter a payment from this screen, the invoices screen. Be aware, however, that you could also go to the payments screen where you can view all the payments that have already been made to you, but you can also enter new payments. So there are multiple ways to do it. And you could also do it from the home screen as I showed you earlier in this video series. So for this invoice in particular, let's go ahead and enter a payment. I'm just going to hit the checkbox to the left of it, and I'm gonna click on the enter payment button. You'll notice it takes me to the screen where I get to choose how much the client has paid. So maybe they haven't paid the invoice in full. I could enter the amount that they did pay. I could say they paid 500 of it, which is going to leave 400 outstanding. However, hopefully, most of the time they are paying in full, and you can just hit the pay in full checkbox, and it puts the 900 in there for you. You get to choose the method that the client used to pay the invoice. This is more for your own internal purposes, so you can report on the different methods that your clients are using to pay their invoices. So we'll just say bank transfer. We can enter the date that the invoice was received, and you could enter notes. This is probably very useful if the client didn't pay in full. You might want to add in the notes section why they didn't, you know, payment coming next week or, or something like that. Notice that you also have the option to send this payment notification by email. If you are invoicing your clients by email, I think this is a great idea. I do this all the time with my own FreshBooks because it lets the client know that their payment was received, it was accepted, and that they no longer have to worry about that invoice anymore. So it's just a nice little notification for the client. But that's obviously up to you. Once you're done here, you can go ahead and hit the Save button. It's going to give you a pop-up confirmation, so you can hit OK. And then it's going to take you back to the invoices screen, and you'll notice that our sample invoice here is now marked as paid. And just to show you, I can now go to my home screen, and we have some data to work with here in FreshBooks, so we don't just have the sample data showing up here. We actually have a graph that shows our invoice and expenses for May, so we can see that we've invoiced $900 of services and we've received $900. If we had invoiced somebody yet not received that payment, those invoices would show up in white. Also, if we had expenses, they would also show up in this bar graph so we could report our invoices versus our expenses to see how much profit we are making here for this month and for previous months in the year. Notice down here, if this invoice had not yet been paid, it would be listed in the Outstanding Invoices section. And we still don't have any expenses to this point, but once we start adding some expenses, they will be listed here in the Expense Categories section.